In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Amazon Alexa on the Fitbit Versa 3. Now, if you're using a Fitbit Sense, the instructions should be nearly identical as long as you're also using an iPhone. If you're using Android, I'm actually going to set up my Fitbit Sense Amazon Alexa with an Android, so you might want to check out that video if you're using an Android phone. I'll link it in the description below. So moving ahead with iPhone and the Versa 3, we'll go ahead and start by tapping to open our Fitbit app dashboard. And then make sure that you are on the Today tab, and then tap on your profile picture in the upper left hand corner. Now you can tap on Versa 3 or Sense, and tap on Voice Assistant. Now for the Versa 3 and Sense, you have two options, Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. If you're wanting to set up Google Assistant, I also have videos for that. Check them out in the description below. But for today, we'll go ahead and tap on Amazon Alexa. So it says Versa 3 includes Alexa. Versa 3 is all you need to talk to Alexa. Swipe over to see how Alexa can help. Get friendly reminders. Set reminders, alarms, or start a timer simply with your voice. Alexa will let you know when the time is up. Master smart devices. Use your voice to control Alexa compatible speakers, lights, or thermostat. Note that this does require connecting smart devices to the Amazon Alexa app. Stay up to date, check for weather, and get quick answers to almost any question. Okay, so I'll go ahead and tap on sign in with Amazon. Want to continue setting up Amazon Alexa? By continuing, you'll turn off Google Assistant on your Versa 3. So this is only if you already had Google Assistant set up. So I'm going to go ahead and tap continue. This might not show up for you. Alright, so it looks like it's showing us your device includes Alexa. Alexa makes your everyday routines easier. Use your voice to play music books, radio stations, podcasts, or even games. So I'll go ahead and say get started. So now you need to sign in. So either sign in with the Amazon account you want to use with Alexa on your Fitbit device, or you can tap to create a new Amazon account. I'll go ahead and enter my information now. All right, so once you've entered your email and password, go ahead and tap sign in. Now I'm gonna say not now. And I don't want to add a phone number. These might not pop up for you. All right, so we're back to the Fitbit app. And here it says, Alexa Skill by Fitbit would like the ability to access and write the following data in your Fitbit account. So you can allow all or individually allow sleep, friends, activity and exercise, heart rate, food, or food and water logs, weight, profile, and Fitbit devices and settings. And we have a little note here that says, if you allow only some of this data, Alexa skill may not function as intended. Learn more about these permissions here. So for now, I guess I'll go ahead and just allow all. So the Alexa skill works as intended. It's up to you. You can go ahead and only allow what you want to or not allow anything and not use the Alexa skill. But this is required if you want to start an exercise, so maybe at the very least you'll need to activate activity and exercise. I don't know. You'll have to play around with that. I'm sure you can change these settings later on in the app. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and allow everything and tap allow. Okay, now it says always grant location access. If you always allow access to your location, Alexa can use it to reply with nearby results. Update your location permission to always in settings. So you could tap yes, which will take you to that portion of the settings. Or you can just tap no thanks if you don't want Alexa to know your location at all times. I'll go ahead and tap yes just to show you what that looks like. So it opens up your now Apple settings for the Fitbit app. And here you would have to go to location and use always. And you can turn on or off precise location also. I'm going to go ahead and say never for now. And you can always change this again in your app settings just to, just to show you these are in the settings app of your iPhone. So if you scroll all the way down to your third party apps and you find Fitbit, that's how you can always 
go back and change this setting if you ever need or want to. You can also look at the other settings here for Fitbit if you want to change anything. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and tap this little thing, go back to the Fitbit app. And it says connected. Here are some things you can ask Amazon Alexa. Set a timer for 20 minutes. Set an alarm for 6 a.m. Is it going to rain today? How much protein is in an egg? And start a run with Fitbit. And on the bottom it says Alexa is set to English. You can change this, meaning the language, in the Alexa settings of the Fitbit app. To learn more and access additional features, open the Amazon Alexa app. Okay, I guess I'll go ahead and tap continue. I'm not actually sure I have the Alexa app enabled on my phone, so I'll tap continue. How to wake Alexa. If you set the button to Alexa, press and hold the button until Alexa appears on the screen. So I'll kind of go over how to access it. But yeah, so for now it says Amazon Alexa is active. So let's go ahead and look on our Fitbit Versa 3. So I'm gonna swipe to reveal the apps. And it looks like I'm going to have to go all the way back to the last page. And if you want to move this closer to the beginning of your app pages, it's just kind of just like iOS. You press and hold, and then you can drag. So I'm going to press and hold. I felt a little vibration, and now I can drag it to the first page. So there we go. Now if I have my clock face, I'm going to have to swipe once. And then the other thing you can check is if you go to settings, if you'd rather have this be one of your custom shortcuts, you can scroll down here to shortcuts, tap on that. And then you have the press and hold shortcut. So that's if you press and hold the side button, it has to be enabled. If it's not, you'll have to tap here. So it says on, and then it is set right now to Alexa. If it wasn't Alexa, you will just tap here and scroll down to voice assistant and it should be set to Alexa. So we can swipe to go back. Also, there's a double press shortcut. If you double press the left button, it opens four apps. So again, you can tap on that to enable if needed and you can choose your top left, top right, bottom left or bottom right. And right now it looks like Alexa for me is set to the bottom left. If you wanted to change it to something else, we just tap on whichever one you wanted and then scroll down to find, well, it's probably not going to show up because it was already there. So you'd have to change Alexa out. Let's just do that real quick to show you. So I'm going to ch change that to settings. So now Alexa is not one of the four and let's say top left. I'm going to change to voice assistant Alexa. So now I will swipe back and now top left is Alexa. So if I swipe back to get to my clock face, you have three ways to access the Alexa app. Number one, swipe to reveal your apps and find it on whatever page it's on. You can also press, double press the side button. And then if you've set it up to be one of your four apps, you can access it there. The other thing is long pressing your side button. Set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. All right, so there we go. We had our first command with Amazon Alexa. You can see that there are now, since the Versa 3 and Sense do have a built-in speaker, Alexa does actually give audible replies, which is a nice touch. You can also increase or decrease the volume of the reply here. So you can press to increase or press minus to decrease. I'll probably go ahead and press up. To get out of that, you just swipe back. It also shows me that I have something here, I believe, if I tap that. Yeah, so it tells me I do have a timer that was set one minute ago. So I can actually edit the things I have set with Alexa here. So if you have alarms and timers, you'll need to do that through the Alexa app on your watch not through the timer app so if you tap on this i guess you can't do anything you have to tap alexa to make changes so i'll tap cancel last timer five minute timer canceled 
Alright, so there we go. How about... Start a hike. Hmm, I have a few skills that can help. Did you mean hiking essentials? Okay, so I'm going to have to look at how to start an exercise. But that's essentially how you set up Amazon Alexa on your Fitbit Versa 3 or Fitbit Sense. I'll have another video going over kind of all the commands you can do with Amazon Alexa. And I hope you want to check out that video next. If so, go ahead and see, click that on the screen or in the description below. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.